the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, August 22nd, 2021, and this is It All Began in the 70s, Episode 4, Perspective. So I've been thinking over the past couple of weeks what to include in this particular episode, and I want to cover perspective because I think this really plays a very a much more important role than most people realize, um, you know, where we begin and how the world looks affects everything that happens. So I don't think I realized until I was probably in my 30s how different my upbringing was uh, from the people around me. And I don't take that to to say that it was better or worse or any of that. Just I don't think we're ca- we're capable of looking through another person's perspective, no matter how hard we try. We all have a different starting point. Uh, how we were, how we came into this world, how we were treated as infants, and uh, you know, some will even say back into the womb. I don't know if it, you know. I, I don't. I'm not an expert on that stuff, but. Uh, so I can't speak to that, but it's possible, I suppose. I mean, there must be some factors that matter. So we all begin in a different place, and our location where we took life on this earth, we had nothing to do with, obviously. Uh, we don't pick our parents. We don't pick where we're born. Uh, we don't pick the conditions that we're in, and we generally can't pick the conditions we're in until we get out on our own, right? So... You know, everybody has an individual story, and as life progresses from childhood, those experiences color your judgments, your views, and I would even go so far as to say, I would often tell my friends in my teen years that, you know, you and I could be looking at an apple on a table. Now, we've both agreed to use the term apple for what that is that is on the table, But who's to say that when that image forms in my mind and it forms in your mind that we are seeing the same thing? We could be have vastly different visual representations in our brains, but we've just used the same term to describe it. And I think if you really think about that, it drives the point I'm trying to make home here, which is we all look through our own looking glass, so to speak. We only... We're only able to see through our own eyes and ears and colored with the experiences that we have. Um, In my life, you know, I've heard more times than I can count, um, and it started right from the very beginning, that, uh, you know, I live in my own world. I don't, you know, I don't live in reality, and I I would speak on, on just any particular topic, and all I would get from the person I'm talking to is confusion and what are you talking about? I mean, I've had a whole lifetime of that um, kind of thing. So uh, I'm not going to let this run long. Uh, I just I want you to think about that. It will make more sense in future episodes as I explain, uh, or at least I try to explain how this applies um, to my life experience and uh, you know the progression of this project and and the telling of this story, which I. Sincerely do hope um, is beneficial and and maybe thought-inspiring to those who take the time to listen to it. So thank you for your time, and I will speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.